Welcome to HopPray.tv. For those who have subscribed, I say a big thank you. And if you've not subscribed, please take a moment to click on that notification icon bell below so you can be the first to get alerts when videos are uploaded. Hi guys, welcome back to HopPray.tv. Um, there is this viral video that I posted some time ago about Pastor Joshua Iginla. Um, and and um, not so long ago, I got a message on my inbox and um, this message came from someone from the name the person is a South African and um, I wanted to know what these pictures are all about but um, we had some few discussions anyway and um, the person sent me these pictures and that's a picture of Yemisi Ingila. yeah we all saw the pictures of Yemisi Ingila and one dude and um, some said that this guy is probably one of the PA of Joshua Ikenla. Some said he's um, an Akata um, and that actually that he was being um, paid to get documents on um, citizenship or a resident permit, the green card for Yemisi Ikenla so she can be in the United States of America. And um, I don't know how true this is because if um, Joshua Angela with the amount of money he has and he claimed he bought a house in the United States of America That's an investment anyway. I think there are other ways probably study or some other ways that she can But then let's assume that it is that that is what they did paid or whatever it is But uh, my attention has been drawn. That is the thing. I, I don't know how true this is I don't know if this is uh, these pictures that you're looking at. I don't know what we can say about this picture my attention has been drawn from these pictures that this person sent to me privately and um, the person said that um, well, was showing me the picture of one guy said this is Uche that got married to this lady in the United States of America so having looked at the pictures I'm like is this guy kind of looking kind of slimmer here and I was looking at the air cut itself the shape you know of the hair line and um, I'm looking at the guy like probably he's got more chin now and um, he looks you know kind of chubby in the other picture here that you're seeing and um, I couldn't just piece things together and since the pastor himself has moved on with this whole story and um, what else is new out there that anyone wants to talk about if someone came out himself to speak about um, his escapades and the trials and tribulations that he had in his family and in his life and of course um, he has said his own peace and the wife also had said her own peace and um, the third lady involved in this whole story that is the Stella Babilanga um, has not really come out to say anything she doesn't need to say anything at the end of the day and um, if the husband has already spoken for her I mean the baby father or the husband had already spoken on her behalf so I'm like looking at these pictures and I'm, I'm like well if um, um, Yemisi is actually married for real or for whatever purpose it is um, it's definitely gonna be a man it's not gonna be a dog an animal it's just definitely gonna be a man either someone she knows before or someone she came across or for whatever thing it could be marriage for any other thing it could be for convenience or for anything that we can ever imagine and the thing is that the other guy is looking very slim and this one is looking chubby um, well it could be that this is the guy anyway meaning a better picture of him and after some while you know you know the lady herself is not looking that is she's looking kind of different now compared to before I mean these pictures because of course we change as human beings so looking at this picture there may be a little bit of similarities but I, I would want you guys to also be the you know to also look at this and if you think this guy looks like the other guy that we are seeing right there in the picture and um, I'm like is this the guy that the pastor was referring to when he said that the wife had a child and the child does not belong to him and all that stuff so probably this is the guy that has been engineering and operating you know behind the scene for a while now I'm kind of looking at it um, that's the guy there you can see him in the gym and um, I don't know if this guy looks like this dude 
in the picture here but i'm just kind of just looking at it anyway and the name written on this picture that that was sent to me is dave uche as you can see they this is written meet dave uche yebisi lover and new husband he is a nigerian based in america and um i'm like a nigerian based in america well that sounds interesting and um viewers you should take note that this is just an observation not actually a conclusion but then you can also make your own observation and if you have any conclusion you can but for me i'm actually just looking at this do do these two people look alike are they really the same person oftentimes i get emails private email anonymous emails and i just flip through these emails and if there are if this you know facts or whatever has been put out there are something to really look into i, I actually look into it sometimes um in this case i kind of realized that this person is somehow like a loyalist to champions royal assembly and um of course probably a follower of joshua iginla and um because this person like i said is a south african i also kind of added one and one together and i came up with i think this person is also a follower or a loyalist to stella babilanga that is the alleged um baby mama the one that is called stella and um if you recollect the video that i posted of joshua Aguilar's brother um actually welcoming stella babilanga into the family um so in other words we can say stella Iginla. and um these pictures have already been pics mixed as you can see there and um, there is just this write-up constantly meet dave uche yemisi he is a nigerian who is who based in america who is fooling who now so like i said earlier on from this right up here it seems this person has a score to settle with yemise iginla or um this person is a loyalist like i said to champions royal assembly that is the babylanga lady and is fighting um on behalf of this um the people that she supports and um she further wrote apart from this picture that um, um there are a lot of great men of god that had issues with marriage and she pointed them out so i responded by saying that a man of god or a pastor or a prophet should not be the example jesus christ is supposed to be the example if you're a christian and um whatever religion you claim to be part of you know that a human I mean if we are talking about this kind of faith that believes in one god so what am i trying to say that your center of focus should not be placed on any man and um and i ended up telling the person that um at the end of the day a pastor a cleric a prophet or whatever or whoever can end up in hell that is just what i said so there is no um i, I mean it the title of a pastor cleric prophet apostle bishop archbishop pope is not a criteria to making heaven if you are a christian and of course people that are muslims too or they also have a form of faith and believe and they believe if they follow this path they will end up in heaven with all the goody goodies so it's all over there in different religions and faith now i'm talking about the um people that believe in one god now because i don't know how the buddhi um, the the buddhist and um, other people that practice other forms of religion that um deal with lots of gods and not just one god but in the case of um the faith in christ they believe in one god and um islam also believe in one god although there are certain arguments when it comes to the islam and the christianity of today you hear them muslims having it um kind of having some confusion about if jesus christ can be placed in the position of god and all that stuff that's not what i'm going into at the moment but i'm saying in what, what i'm in conclusion what i'm saying i mean what i told the person is just simple that a pastor is not the um is not supposed to be your your i mean the person your center of focus 
when it comes to your personal race or faith in Christ if you are a Christian. The sender of this picture also claimed that, that men are not always celebrated. That um, when it comes to um, Women's Day or Mother's Day, you always find a lot of cards and roses. But Men's Day, Father's Day are not always celebrated that way. That people do not really take too much you know, into men like that. It's always about a woman this, a woman wants this, that. You know, like the person is all just on about why people to put too much emphasis on the bear when certain things go wrong and not even the woman like women have always presented themselves as being the um, type that do not do evil or are always the victim when it comes to um, break in marriages and a lot of things they are always like victims that's what the person actually said I mean, the message the person sent to me and I have had those pictures for a while now and um, I've said not to do nothing about it because I was actually looking at those pictures and trying to look at these images. Is it important that this has to be put out there? Of what importance is this anyway? Because um, at the end of the day, the pastor himself had come out to say he is not interested in this marriage any longer. He has, the, the, he has gone probably his own way. The woman has gone her own way or they are still married together. Whatever it is, that's their personal business and not any anybody's business. So these pictures i don't know do you think this guy that we are seeing here this dude that we're looking at here that he did this sender called uche do you think this guy looks like these other pictures that we are seeing here i will leave you guys to look at this and your comments will be much appreciated if you have any do not forget once again to click on that red subscribe button and also the red icon bell which signifies notifications whenever videos are uploaded thanks for stopping by